So in the short term, I mean, you can't hide from the fact that you know, two of the four big banks didn't pay dividends in May. And so you know, there's no doubt that there is risk. I would say looking forward, we're looking at a, a sort of a 60-40 chance that dividends are paid in the next six months by the banks. If we think about it, it's not really an earnings issue. Like we're confident that we can, we've taken a conservative view about what the um, bad debt cycle is going to look like. The issue for banks is the vagaries of how capital is calculated for banks. And without getting too technical, at the end of the day, what you need to see is a peaking in the bad debt provisions. So they need line of sight on you know, what the future holds and, and how many people are going to go through this sort of uh, financial stress. Now with JobKeeper and um, loan repayment holidays, the line of sight on that is just pushed out. Your ability to, take a, to have a, a strong view that you have made uh, the bulk of the provisions you need to for that is going to be difficult. And so that's going to make it uh, a, 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 an interesting position for boards in, in consultation with APRA to decide whether they're going to be in a position to pay dividends uh, in August and November. Uh, in terms of the banks specifically, I think CBA uh, is in a stronger position to be able to pay a dividend just because it's made some asset sales and has a slightly stronger capital position. Uh, ANZ, NAB and Westpac will have the benefit of waiting till November um, to have to make their decisions about dividends and we would expect that there's a good chance that they pay but a smaller dividend than, than, than what we're used to. In the longer term, we think that there is value in the banks. Um, what we, when we uh, look at them, they've got very, very strong capital positions. They've uh, made some adjustments going into this in terms of reducing their exposure to interest-only loans. Some of it uh, by their own choice and some of them imposed on them. But um, uh, you know, that puts them in a better position going into an event like this. Um, they're going to, uh, it, it, recessions aren't, a good, aren't traditionally a good place uh, for banks. And uh, we know that, that, that uh, we can provide for that in our assumptions in terms of what we think the banks are going to go, go through in terms of bad debt cycle. And we put all that into our numbers. We can see longer term value in the banks. We know that they're in a position to ride this out. Uh, however, when you look at the short-term risks and the longer-term value opportunity, what we've done is to neutralise our position in the banks uh, and, and basically, basically buy them but not be overweight.